Hello and welcome to this video. This is the second session of the series Python with Cutie Pie. In this video, we are going to talk to you about strings, string functions, operators with strings and slicing and indexing of strings. Now, let's take a look at what is a string. A string is a list of characters in an order. A character is anything you can type on a keyboard in one keystroke, like a letter or a number, even a backslash. Strings can have spaces such as hello world. An empty string is a string that has zero characters. Here is a list of few string functions. What are string functions? They are built-in functions that allow you to modify or alter a given string. You can use any of these string functions to modify any string and see what output you receive. Let's start with the string Python is a programming language. I would like you to capitalize each letter of the string. You have 60 seconds to do that. trick question. If you tried capitalize as a string function, you would have noticed that only the first letter of the entire string got capitalized and not the string itself. The string function you need to use is upper. As you can see, the string is assigned to a variable and the variable name dot upper followed by parenthesis is the command you can use to convert the entire string into capital letters. Now let's take a look at another string function count. It allows you to count the number of occurrences of a particular word or a character in a string. We can use this command to find out how many times the word two occurs in this above string. You can check it out and tell me what output you get. The output is usually an integer value. Once you're done trying that, let's look at a very interesting string function split. It helps you to split an entire string into different parts based on an explicit separator that you can specify such as a colon, a semicolon, a comma or a backslash. If not specified, uh, any white space in the string will be considered as a separator and it would split based on those spaces. So here's a challenge. I want you to have a look at a piece of code and work your magic and try to get the following output. You have 60 seconds to try it out. Your time starts now. That was obvious, right? It's the split function. Now moving on to our next challenge. Here I want you to take an input from the user and check if the input is a digit or an alphabet. You have 60 seconds to try it out. What are string operators? String operators are special symbols that allow you to perform a specific operation on a string. Here are a list of few string operators. We will look into each one of them in detail. Here's the first operator, concatenation. It allows you to combine multiple strings into a single string. The second operator, replication, creates multiple copies of a single string. The third is the in operator that checks the condition if a character or a word is present within the string or if not, which returns the output true or false. In case of not in operator, it does the opposite of the in operator. Now, let's take a look at what is indexing and slicing of a string. First, what is indexing? Every string has a collection of characters, where every character has an index value, which starts from 0 and increments by 1. What is an index? Similar to an index at the end of every book, which displays the list of topics and the address or the page at which that topic is present, an index displays the position at which a character is present in a string. For example, the index value of h is 0 and w is 6. Now let's take a look at what is slicing. Here's a string hello world. If you want to extract hello from the string, you have to mention the variable name, square brackets and in between you have the starting and the ending position separated by a colon where the ending index value always has to be one value greater than the actual index value. For the above example, the beginning is 0 and the end is 5. 
It's time for a challenge. A simple one and a complex one. Let's start with the simple. Here's a string out of which I want you to extract the word fun. You have 60 seconds to try that. Well done to all those who've got a solution, but here's how it's done. Now let's go to the next challenge. This one's a little tricky. You have to get the output string, you either run or stay lazy from the above string. You have 60 seconds to try that. Did you guys get that? Here's the solution. You can try it out. This brings us to the end of our session. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.